Answer is no, it's not worth it. Ugh. Whoa, what is this? Yeah, that's better. <laughs> How's it going? My goodness, start of a new week. I'm ready. Who else is ready? For a new week, do we need the microphone closer or further away? That's the question. Goodness gracious. Meet 224's in the house. How's it going? Meet Kevin Howell, Simply Squad, Javen Ford, Carson Peters, Fire Blazer, Janine, Janine Curtis. Hi. You haven't seen this game before. You hope it's good. Dude, it's uh, it's realistic is what it is. I, I actually really enjoy this game. Um, I recently sold off pretty much every fish I have. Don't have anything in my keep net. Um, let's see what the cafe orders are today. There is one for a rough. Oh, only 25 minutes though. That's gonna be close. Okay. Well, we're gonna go see how we do. Let's see what uh, baits we have though. We have 14 maggots. We're gonna need more than that. Let's go buy some maggots. And then we'll get to work. Kevin Howell says, I love you. Oh, thanks Kevin Howell. I love all of you. E-L-E, -E, bro. That's what it's all about. Everybody love everybody. Let's go catch some small fish. That's what this game's all about. Catching the small ones. Now, but we are going to do that. And uh, hopefully sell for some money. If we can catch them in the next 25 minutes, put 25 minutes on the clock. I'm going to have to do that. Siri. Hey, Siri. She's not listening to me. Goodness gracious. What good are you? Oh, car. Setting a timer for 23 minutes. We need to be back here in 23 minutes. Remember me, BZ Hub, Walter Bostic. I remember everyone. Well, how come, how come everyone wants me to remember them, but they can't remember my one rule that I remember everyone who shows up? Huh? Huh? 
Why can't they remember that about me? I'm only one guy. You know, there's 26,000 of you. Just made it in time. Just in time, Owen Jester. You about missed it. You about missed the whole two hours. When will it be on PS4? Great question, Brandon. I, I can't answer that. I don't know. Um, I wish I could tell you, though. I wish I could be like, oh, next week. It's gonna be out. But I can't, I can't, can't say that. Well, I can say it. Just, I'd be lying to you. <clears throat> Long time since you've been here. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Well, glad you're back. That's what, that's what matters. Are we playing Fishing Planet on Wednesday? Maybe. Depends on how many people want to watch Fishing Planet versus uh, Call of the Wild, I suppose. So basically, what I've been doing is... Uh, this is the, the kind of... Well, it's not the starting one. Um, you start off with a, a bamboo stick. But you can buy this rod, this tell stick, for pretty cheap. Less than 30 bucks, I think. And, uh, and then I just have some basic basic bobbers on here who's who's s subscribing right now goof thanks goof appreciate it goodness gracious got some basic stuff on here size 16 hook could probably go smaller i think i got a size 20 on the other one only got a nature maggot with seven pound line i think i think that's all you need honestly let's flick this out here flick that out there get another one out here as well so, uh, yeah, it depends on all of you. Would you rather see Fishing Planet or The Hunter Call of the Wild on Wednesday? That's the question. Kevin Howe's got to go to bed. All right. Well, sl sleep tight. <laughs> Is that weird for one dude to say to another one? I don't know. No movement on the bobbers yet. Oh, this is going to be a real slow stream if we can't even get them to go after floats. Oh, gosh. These things should be bobbing like crazy right now. And they're not. This is great. I come out here on my free time and I catch I catch fish left and right. Boom, 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 boom. I got 20 fish after like 15 minutes. My brother walks in, he's like, whoa, you've been fishing like crazy. And I'm like, well, the fish have been crazy. I haven't been doing a lot. And, uh, and then I go to record and this is what happens to me. And it's happened again with the live stream, so this is great. Fantastic, just what I wanted to see. Let's pull this up. If that's the way it's gonna be, then we're just gonna have to, uh, we're gonna have to move to a different spot. Let's go try this spot down here, because this is also a pretty decent spot I found. Try this spot, see if it's any different. At this rate, we're definitely not gonna get our rough cafe order completed. Throw those bad boys out there. I'm not. I'm definitely not gonna throw my feeder rod out there if we can't even get stuff to bite on the floats. Just saying. Just saying. Sorry, feeder rods. Ain't gonna get in the water. Brandon, pass no. What's your favorite food? Favorite food. Ooh, good question. Good question. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go with burnt ends. I love burnt ends, man. I don't know. I, I've changed it over time. This looks like a very small roach. Good deal. We caught something, though. That's all that matters. Something on the board. Something on the board. This uh, bobber is going up and down. Let's just grab it real quick. We'll watch it bob for a little bit, like for apples. You don't miss any, any stream, Simply Squad says. Well, I'm glad, Simply Squad. I'm glad you're here for the keep for keeps. There we go, another fish on. You should have saw the fish I caught on one of these little tail stick rods. It, it, it was very close to breaking the line. I, I literally had to follow it along the bank so that it would not break the line, and I had to every once in a while I would just like try to pull the rod up a little bit to kind of tucker it out. It was crazy. So don't think that these float rods can't handle a decent fish even if a decent fish is only like two pounds uh they can handle it just takes a little bit of, takes a little bit of uh fighting can i get him yeah we got him we got him boys well the roaches are coming on strong today lots of roaches 
fishing plan all the way for Wednesday. All right, it sounds pretty good to me. Well, I won't complain for fishing plan as well. Right on. You love gaming month, Janine. Thank you, thank you. I love gaming month too. I wish I could have gaming month for a couple of different months, but you know, I'm not, I'm not fighting it. It's, it's whatever. I got my month of, uh, of other games in. And we're back to hunting and fishing game. Plus, this year we've got a number of different fishing games and hunting games, so... Um, yeah, mixing it up. Plus, Farming Simulator, which has nothing to do with hunting or fishing. So, you know, we've we've gained a few games. We even had a uh, video for my brother, so that was, that was new. He decided to make his own video for one, uh... For one episode, that was pretty cool. Where's King Bjorn? He's in the he's in the other room, as far as I know. Actually, when I was last in there, only uh, only Oslo was in there. Old Prince Oslo. Bjorn was nowhere to be found, which makes me think that he's probably laying out in the backyard in the snow, since it snowed yesterday. Um, I, I assume. Sounds like something he would be doing. Okay, okay. So this one was getting hit up first. Let's get and see now that other one's gonna go. Got pulled underneath. We missed the hookup. Now we're waiting for this one and the other one's gonna go. Oh, it's going. We got him. We got him. At least we're catching fish. That's what matters. This is a little gibble carp. Oh, it's a crucian actually. Right on, right on. Well, if we're catching fish on the float, let's get a bottom rod out. Can't remember which one is. Let's go with number four. Got around 70%. Oh, way too far. I guess I should have said 60%. Tighten the line a little bit. Shovel. I'm looking for one of these bad boys. Oh, we missed the hookup on the float rod. He's going, though. He's still going. He's still thinking about it. I'm going to look at the chat here in just a second. Give me give me one moment. Give me one moment to watch this float bob up and down. Oh, oh. Better bite on that float rod, you crazy fish. <laughs> he knows coming for you. Bro, here we go. Oh, look at the size of this fish, man. Oh, that's a big roach. 395 gram roach, bro. I'll take it. I'll take it all day long. 27 centimeters. How big is that? It's a pretty good sized roach, dude. That's right. That's that's a it's like the size of a football, length of a football. For such a small fish, that's a pretty good size one. And not even a trophy. I do wonder what a trophy roach looks like. Is that other rod going? I think it is. No, it's not. We're good. Just bobbing up and down. Howdy, Bo. Any monsters yet? No monsters thus far. We are, uh... I keep thinking about the day that we'll be, like, coming back here as a higher level to catch fish so that we can... Gosh, dang it, man. That other rod, bro. I grab it. Wait. And now it's going. Yep, we got fish on we are not getting any roughs whatsoever. Which is okay. I was hitting up that other spot, which is like one of my favorite rough places, and we weren't getting any roughs today. So, I don't, I don't know. I guess we're just not going to get lucky with the roughs. Unless we can catch five of them in 13 minutes. I don't see it happening. Out on Xbox head. It is not. Nope. Only on uh only on PC, unfortunately. 13,565 push-ups. I have to say, I did 13,560 push-ups yesterday, so we're we're down to just five. Which I bet I could crank out over a commercial break. About to play fishing planet, we'll ride on. Get get to it, bro. I can't see that other float. There it is. I hate this float simply because it's so hard to see. I see it right there though, bobbing up and down. So if I were to to tell you what I thought about this float, I would tell you to just get the regular float. Because <laughs> I don't like this one. What's, what is this one? This is the, uh, 
The Siberia Silver Stick 1.5G. Not a fan of it. You you can skip it. If it's if it's up to me, I'd say skip it. Do the other one. Do the other one, which is the uh, Express Fishing Bob Slim. Go with two of those. I like those better. Could you do more Farming Sim videos? I've got a new Farming Sim video coming out this week, so you better be ready for it. Bye, George. I've only caught 18. I have no idea. I've lost count, man. I'll be honest. Luckily, they put that sort of stuff in your statistics, but I don't keep it... Don't keep it in my head. You have to think that when you go to a place like Weeping Willows, uh, you, you catch, like... I mean, you catch like a half dozen uniques on one day, so. Oh, he's so close to taking it down. I just have to say, for as live as that float is, you'd think that if a fish isn't taking it down, it's gotta be pretty small. Now the other float's going. Oh, oh, our bottom rod is way over. I remember one day on uh, the winding rivulet, I left my float rods out like this and uh, I wasn't paying attention to it at all. A little crucian carp. Wasn't paying attention to it at all, and the next thing I know, I get this little, uh, little, uh, thing that says, uh, your line is snapped. And evidently, while I wasn't paying attention, a fish came by and took my, took my float rod. Hey, we learned how to Bolognese. Bolognese, uh, I don't, I don't even know what that means. But we learned how to do it by George. Anyone knows? Anyone knows how to Bologne Bol Bolognese? I don't know how to say it. Bolognese? Something like that. I assume. Another fish on. Another fish on, bro. Little Crucian carb. Let's tighten this. Oh. Don't need to tighten it. It's already getting taken. Yeah, buddy. Dude, wouldn't it be awesome if we were able to catch a trophy during the live stream? That'd be sweet. I don't think it's gonna happen though. That is getting bigger though. We're getting into some larger fish. Let's keep it going. This is good. Even if it's still pretty small. We're getting into some larger fish and that's what matters. One point two kg for a trophy roach. Oh, bro! I I got so close to. Of course, I can't show you. Let's see. Can I show you if I go into here? Let's see. Fish. Will this show us what my biggest roach is? Roach, 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 roach. Oh, I guess would would it be a common roach? Yes. 1.009 kgs. So pretty, getting pretty close there. Getting close there. We want the Bjorn. Well, someone's gonna have to go get him. Otherwise, we're gonna have to wait till a commercial break. Impressive, Joe Ganucci says. Thank you, Joe. Appreciate it. You know, I need I need someone to follow me around in life and tell me that just just doing daily activities. I feel like it would really improve, like uh, just just me day to day. I want people to kind of like watch me type an email and then be like, "Ooh, impressive, impressive form on that email there. That was great." Oh, we're s no, we're not. I've never snagged a float rod before. This is a first. We got one on the bottom rod, though. Definitely not big. 
you know they're pretty decent size when they start uh, stressing out the line on this on this rod. That's at least what the trophy crucian did. Kind of stressed it out and thought I was gonna break for a second. It didn't. It didn't break. It didn't even get close to breaking. But I thought for a moment it could. <laughs> No, that was too far to the left. Come on. Put it down. I don't think we're gonna get this. Wow, we broke the line off. You've gotta be joking. I think that, no it wasn't. Okay, thank goodness. I was gonna say, I think that was my good hook too. We don't have any more smaller hooks. Oh, that was my good hook. Dang it. Mm. Okay, that's okay. We've just got one good float rod now. We snapped seven pound line on lily pads. Lily pads. What skills have you spent points on, Bo? Uh, good question. Let's find out. We've got points in float fishing, three and using a spinning rod, so I guess I didn't really put it in flow fishing, because that's also in here. We've got three in spinning reel, three in, uh, two in spinning rod, three in spinner baits, one in uh, spoon, and then I think, let's see, two in a simple bottom rig. I've got one in harvesting red worms, because uh, I thought that would be good. Um, I've got Two in mixing a ground bait, which I've found pretty good because I'm starting to make better ground bait, which is great. Um, I haven't done any cooking, really. I mean, you don't have to. You just start learning this stuff over time. But, uh, but yeah, I have gotten to the point where I'm starting to, like, buy things simply to, like, make the recipe and improve my percentage. You, you improve your skills... In, uh, in harvesting baits, for instance, uh, by preparing wet bread as bait or by making potato cubes. So I would just buy a bunch of potatoes and just make potato cubes even if I didn't plan on using them. Just just to get my skill up, basically. So uh, yeah, I think uh, once I get to pearl barley porridge or oatmeal porridge, maybe both of them too. Um, yeah, they're both at 20%. Uh, the fish, the Crucian Carp and the Gibble Carp really like that, evidently, and I guess regular carp, too. Ooh, we got a fish on here, man. Come here, you roach. You stinking roach. Get in. Get in my keepsack. Oh, he's up on the bank now. 443, bro. That's 330 XP. I'll take it. Take it all day. Farming sharks and fishing planet. Well, good deal. What kind of fish is on your wall, stupid civic kid says? That's an African tiger fish, man. Way over there. I had to get myself out of focus here. Oh, we're back. Ooh, another fish on. Thought he was a little bit bigger at first. Ooh, this could be a pretty good sized roach though. Unless he ends up being something else. I think this could be a pretty decent sized roach. 524 grams, man, not too shabby. Not too shabby. We uh, we need to go buy, ooh, is this gone? Aw, oh, we, were, we weren't patient enough. All right, we're good. We're good. If you use wet bread and cast it on the bridge with your feeder, you can catch decent fish for that lake. Crucian commons, mirrors, gibbles are all examples of the fish. Dylan, those are examples of the fish. You are correct. Um, yeah, well, I, I'm fine trying it. We can certainly give it a try. As long as you're not lying to me. Are we gonna get snagged up and lose all our stuff? <laughs> First live ever, Jerry Conrad says, well, glad to have you, Jerry. Thanks a lot for getting me into carp fishing and fishing plant. I love the game, and you really like carp fishing. I really, really do. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. What is this? Nope, still there. Still there. I surely thought we had a fish on. I don't really like where it is. Let's move it. Well, I'll tell you what, uh, ooh, was that? No, it wasn't. 
Um, you're my favorite gamer. Well, thank you. 15 push-ups now. Can we only do push-ups when I catch a good fish? <laughs> like a trophy, a trophy in, in uh, Russian fishing, for instance. That'd be great. Ooh, getting hits on the uh, feeder rod right now. It's nibble. You can see the line moving. Ooh, they are definitely messing with it. Should tighten it up. I feel like that might scare them away. Just ever so slightly tightening it. Oh, it's gone. Oh, come on, man. Doing us dirty. Lily pads build different. I agree. Yes, there, there's some sort of weaponry here in Russia. Uh, armed lily pads that cut off your fishing lines. What is your favorite fish to fish for in real life? Um, I don't know. I, I enjoy carp and catfish. I think they're, I think they're a lot of fun. Um, I will go uh, bass fishing, especially if we're going to a place that's like known to have bass. I'll, I'll go bass fishing, but it's not truly very common unless I'm short on time or something that I specifically like leave my house to go find bass um, I just don't find it that fun but uh but yeah definitely go bass fishing come on float come on float whoa 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 Stupid Civic Kid says, that's cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. BZ, you doing good? Waylon asks. I'm doing good, Waylon. Thanks for asking, man. How are you doing? He's like so close to taking it. What is that? What? What is it? What even is that? The bobber is like almost underwater. There it goes. That's a take. That's a take. There we go, another little roach. So eventually, as we make our way through this game, it's like a fidget roach spinner. Um, eventually, as we make our way through this game, this game, these fish that we're catching right now will be uh, bait that we can use. We can actually, uh, you can see down, let's see here. Harvesting bait fish right here. So these roach that we're catching, um, the rough too, that sort of thing. We can, I think even the Crucian and Gibble Carp. At least the Gibble, I remember. Pretty sure anyway. We can eventually use this to catch larger fish, which I think is really cool. Um, if, if we're going... Okay, that was our timer for the rough. We didn't make it. Um, if we're uh, wanting to catch, you know, bigger uh, pike or, um, I don't know, sturgeon or catfish or something like that, we could uh, get this uh, bait fish and uh, throw that out there for uh, sturgeon and pike and whatnot. Um, there's also fish meat where we can cut up a fish for chunks of fish and use it. Um, I think that's super cool as well. So yeah, I, I think there's some really cool features in this game that people have been asking for in games like Fishing Planet. And, uh, and you know, little do they know, those features that you're looking for are right here in Russian Fishing. What is going on, man? Are we stuck on the bottom? We caught the largest fish in Mosquito Lake. So, I should have done this with the float rod. And we didn't. I really don't know what's going on right now. Should have done this with the float rod, but we didn't. Basically, anytime you get a, a line snagged or that sort of thing or whatever happened right there and you just don't want to deal with it anymore just travel to a new location best way to avoid dealing with it it's kind of like um oh you know in life when something happened to you and you're just like i don't want to deal with this anymore so you just walk away <laughs> it's like that except uh you magically get uh all of your fishing stuff to go with you even if you were snagged up so it's great what lake is this we were at mosquito lake just got out of testing. Oh, testing for what? 
if I mean, if, don't that don't answer. Obviously, if it's not, you know, don't want to share. And fish my how many mini eggs do you think you have? Hundreds. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Hundreds though. What reel do you use in real life? Fishing with Asa. Ah, uh, I have a bunch. Uh, I use a lot of Cast King reels with my carp carp rods. Um, but other than that. Ooh, a Xander. That would be cool to catch. <clears throat> um, other than that, uh, yeah, stuff. Uh, lots of different stuff. I have uh, I have a Shimano Baitcaster, a Curado. I can't remember which version it is, but I have a Shimano Curado Baitcaster. Um, I'm not sure what else, though. Let's see here. I bought... This is the this is what I was using one of these seven dollars and eighty cents for a hook, goodness gracious! See what that lily pad did to us? Freaking expensive, man! All right, we're good, we're good, we did it. Okay, oh, no, there's the Bolognese rig. I don't know. Okay, let's find out what this is all about. Okay, so a fixed float, classic rig with a fixed float. Float depth is set manually, which we know. Uh, rig's disadvantage is the limited float depth that cannot be set higher than rod's length. Okay. Um, the Bolognese rig is distinguished from all the other rigs by using a special float. Float's characteristic feature is its thick antenna and a long keel made out of carbon or glass reinforced plastic. The antenna is positively buoyant. This allows you to slightly overweight the float which increases rig sensitivity. The long keel makes the float more steady in the currents and eddies of fast moving water. Interesting. So it makes me wonder if we could use this uh, more effectively in uh, in Winding River Lay, where we are right now, because it moves in uh, running, you know, moving water better. That would be interesting to find out. I'm not sure. Let's go back to Mosquito. Walter's got to go take care man Another good tip is fishing at Old Berg and Catch Bream. They're good sorts of money catch them in any sort of deep hole with garlic dough One 1 kg bream is equivalent to 610 silver. What? That sounds awesome, dude Well good idea. Do we have any uh, probably have some roaches we could sell this is for nine dollars and fifty four cents not too shabby we have a fair amount Let's find out and see, uh, make sure we're not selling some super expensive roaches or something like that. $9.54, I'd say anything under 200k or 200 Gs is probably fine to sell. In fact, pretty much anything under four, 400 is good at eh, 300. If it's under 300, we're good to sell it, I'll say. So let's do this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and that one. Oh, we, uh, no, we're good. This is it. This is five. So like that. Nine dollars fifty-four cents, bro. That's right. So we have a gibble carp we could catch. Tench. We did catch a big tench uh, in w when I was playing last. Still got 13, 13 minutes, thirteen hours, whatever that is. We did not catch a single rough over there though. Which was rough. What is your PB? What is my PB? With what? I forgot what we were talking about fishing with Asa. Whoa, we dropped down. So I'm supposed to throw it underneath this bridge? That's what you were saying? Carol, this is what I'll do. I'll even give us a good chance. Toss that out there. There we go. I've never fished by this uh, bridge before. Could be, could be good, could be bad, who knows. I don't- I didn't check what the depth is, so I hope that these bobbers work. 
we'll stay here for a little bit. Testing out this spot that Dylan gave us. Use wet bread instead of maggots. Ah, oh, I messed up already. What do I have on these? I don't even know. I'm using I'm using worms. Dang it. All right, well, let me reel this in. I also just got, let's see, I just got this cool uh, spinning rod. Might as well put that back on one of these bad boys. In the meantime, Put that on there and we'll put on the uh, put on the wet bread. I got a few of those. Alright, the floats are not doing great. I wonder if we need to uh, set the depth a little bit more. What is the depth around here? It's around one, it says anyway. Having a bit of a drop back. Oh, yeah, no, I'm looking at the wrong thing. But we're getting nibbles. Getting nibbles on this rod right now. For carp, at least. Sounds good. You hear bolognese and you think it's spaghetti sauce? I agree. BZ up is the best. One million likes. Exactly. Let's try to hit one million likes tonight. Let's do it. The 25 of us will all will do it together. 20, 24 of us. <laughs> I think we're having a bit of a drop back going on right now. Little tiny crucian carp. That'll work though. Money in the bank. Close the bale. I was gonna throw it way too far. This float is bobbing up and down. Ooh, perfect timing too. What do we got? What do we got? A little roach, it looks like. That'll work, man. That'll work. Oh, having a little bit of wind now. Look at the wind. That's gonna aff affect some things. Throw that back out there. Ooh, that, that just went down. Oh, we missed it. <laughs> How you doing this fine? I'm fine, by the way. Okay, I thought you were saying, how you doing this fine night? But no, you're saying, how you doing? I'm fine. Well, I'm fine too. Thanks for letting me know. You just cut to the chase. Now I don't have to ask, you know? I like that. I like your style. Holy cross lines. This is how, this is how, I learned this from a good friend of mine. His name's Lauren. He always crosses his lines. It gives him good luck, he says. He tries to make some sort of Celtic rune in the ground, basically, with his rods crossing in certain ways. Um, he says it helps him. I think he's crazy, but it's, it's whatever. If there's one thing you should take away from tonight, it's that uh, I have a crazy friend who uh, does weird things with his, his rods and his lines and whatnot. Another fish, another fish, another crucian. Another crucian. 
getting bigger. They're getting bigger, Batman. We have a float that's... God dang, man. It's going crazy. We had a float that went down, but we were casting, so we didn't have time to, to deal with it. You'll make one million. Thank you. Yeah, if you could just if you could just do that, that would be great. Multi species madness. Hi, how's it going? Hey, Bo. Gearhead fisherman says hi. How are you? I need to uh, I need to po po post some uh, some photos. In fact, uh, the fake outdoorsman is in some of these photos. Um, yeah, should be should be a good collection of of uh, memories represented via Instagram. So if you're not following the BZ Hub Instagram and and the fake outdoorsman's Instagram, then y you better see some uh, see some awesome fish from this weekend. Keaton Smith, hi. How are ya? You ever think carp would hit a gummy bear on a herring? Honestly, I, I wouldn't doubt it one bit. It has a fruity smell. Um, you know, they don't they can't tell it's a gummy bear. They just think it's something that smells fruity. Which, what is a boily, but something that smells fruity and is on the end of a hook. A little ball. As if that occurs in nature. Little balls of fruity smelling things. Um, gummy bear is not too much different other than that it's not a ball anymore. It's just a little gelatinous bear. <laughs> 600 that we've caught a bigger crucian carp on the float rod Other float rods going now Oh It's a bunch of baloney is what it is and not bolognese. I'm talking just BS ridiculousness Just got my first piebald gator. Ooh, very cool Cole You'll have to post a picture in the Discord. I want to see it. That's awesome. People do it. Carp seem to love gummy bears and worms. See? If you put it into a worm shape, then I'm sure they'd love it even more. See, Lauren is the person you should come to because he puts all sorts of strange things on his hair rigs. He's, uh, he, he loves making rigs. I think he's crazy. But, yeah. You ever try a gummy worm? I think you should try a gummy worm. You hit a new PB on a gummy worm, we'll uh, we'll spread it around on the American Carp Society or whatever, and uh, and everyone will be using gummy worms. It'll become a thing. Got a new job at a Dodge dealership as a mechanic. Whoa, very cool, man. And how is it? How is it going? Have you worked yet or you just have the job? Dude, uh, gotta try that. Go rod time. Oh. Gotta, gotta get. Ooh, 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 ooh. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Now our other rod's going. Go, go, fish. Ah, uh, they're both so close to being taken down. Both hopping. They're both hopping up and down. We have not caught a, in an, a rough this entire time, which was the whole reason we came out here. Yeah, got another roach. Got another roach in the bag, bro. Taking my toolbox there tomorrow and getting my base set up. Dude, that's awesome. Well, congrats, man. That's sweet. What is the Discord? Sorry, you forgot. No big deal, man. If you look in the uh, the, the uh, description, uh, or David's posting it right here. Yeah, if you, if you look in the description of any of our videos, you'll find a link to the Discord. And uh, you got the community there. You can post your uh, Fishing Planet fish. You can post your Hunter Call of the Wild catches. Um, what else? Post your in real life hunting and fishing. We got all sorts of stuff. If you like taking photos, if you like pets, we got we got stuff for all of that. It's the it's the all-in-one, the all-in-one BZ Hub community. 
don't you know? Over 11, 1200. We got 1200 people in the Discord community. Doesn't feel like it a lot, but that's okay. A lot of the times it's it's pretty quiet. Everyone's on their own schedule evidently. Whew, okay. Very sensitive, very sensitive to movement in this game. I'd say let's give this a few more minutes, just in case. Um, if we don't get any bites, I think it's time to move on. I've got a few more places I want to hit up. Uh, we did get a few fish with the uh, bottom rod over here, but we really haven't seen the action since then. Could probably throw out another dough ball if I didn't just say I was going to leave here in two minutes or so. Yep, classic. Classic there took the bait and then we try to bring it in and they said nope nope no fish bro <laughs> oh, we got him so is anyone here playing russian fishing anyone anyone whatsoever bueller bueller is that taken or is it can't tell. It was taken. It is taken. It is taken. Another roach. Catching roaches for days. They're not worth anything until they get to like 300 though. That's fish on. We need Bjorn! Bjorn, Bjorn, Bjorn. Well, I guess. Hey, hi, hunting guy. How are you? Just yanked the hook out of a big bream's mouth? No. No, you did not. Why'd you do it? Okay. If we catch a decent fish on this uh, feeder rod here, we'll cut to a commercial break and go find that crazy dog of mine. See, the issue is that Bjorn, I have to coax Bjorn in here with treats, but anytime I give him treats, he's going off his diet, don't you know? This looks like a Gibble Carp, I think. Yep, 643 Gibble Carp, that's not bad. Yet to catch a trophy Gibble Carp. Let's get this in here so we don't lose anything here. All right, let's see here. Let's see, what do we got? Oh, frozen face of me. Oh, oh, That's me. here in February. Really? What about uh, hey, this you. one? Oh. Yes, you. Did you know that BZ Hub now has memberships here on YouTube? That's right. For only a dollar ninety nine a month, you can show off your love with a BZ Hub badge of honor next to your name and giving you access to all of your favorite emotes, such as King Bjorn. Got him, mad lad, and get rexed. More emotes will be added with more members. But I have lots of money. What else could I do? If you want to support the BZ Hub more, check out the Hub Lord membership at $9.99 a month. On top of a badge of honor and your favorite emotes, you will also get your name featured at the end of every BZ Hub episode. But lots of money. For those of you with a cash burning a hole in your pocket, check out the Hub Master Membership at $19.99 a month. Not only do you get the badge of honor, emotes, and your name featured at the end of every episode, but you also get a complimentary BZ Hub Membership on Twitch for our weekly Twitch streams. Plus, you know, everyone will know you're a Hub Master, and who doesn't want that title? So, get off your booty and join the BZ Hub today! All right. All right. I'm foreseeing this being 
an issue. Okay, Bjorn. Yep, we see, you, buddy. Yep. All right. Oh. Just say hi to everyone, huh? Been a while since you've been here. It has. Also, you're here too. Oh, and shaking as well. Good boy. Yeah. Can't see you. My big, big body's in the. <laughs> what? A... No, this one's for all slow. All right, come here, say hi. Uh, gotcha. <laughs> you say hi to everyone, huh? They were all talking about you. They wouldn't just watch the live stream. They had to see you, buddy. Yeah, yeah. Where's your crown, huh? Where'd you put that thing? Huh? Where is your crown? Huh? Is you a big boy? Having a good day because it's snowed out? We like the snow, don't we? Yeah. Alright. Let's get one more treat and then we'll give Oslo a shot up here. Yeah. Alright, buddy. Come here, Oz. Come here. Yeah. Come here, shake. Good boy. Come here. Wanna say hi? Oh. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Yeah. We don't know about all this, do we? That's all right, huh? Get to sit with me and you get some treats. What's over there? What's that? Huh? What is that? <laughs> oh, all right. Last one. Last one, buds. Yeah. All right. Got to see both of them. Package deal. Yeah. That's all right. Bye. Crazies. Bunch of crazies. Oh. Dogs made me hot. Zooming in, zooming in. All right. Uh, cancer, but watching your vids helps me through it. Thanks so much, Brandon. Well, I'm glad we're here, man. Always, always have support. And I'm glad, glad you're here. This is great. Just joined in time, Carly Priv. Yeah, you did. Good timing. Good timing. Couldn't have asked for much better. <laughs> Also's like not the light dad, exactly. He hates the light. Hates the light. I don't know what his deal is. He really just does not like it though. I've tried by this boat before. I didn't catch anything. The king, the King Andrew says. Indeed. He knows it too. He's got a he's got a big head. He just thinks he's the the cat's meow, or the cat's hiss and scratch. I guess more like when they see Bjorn. This looks like it wouldn't be that bad of a spot. Let's try this. Try this little. Oh, that's too deep. It's really shallow here. My go-to depth is fifty. Seems to be seems to be what works for the majority of places. Okay. Got to adjust the depth on that one. We'll give this a minute, see if anything goes for it. What kind, of, what kind of fish is that on the wall? That's the that's the African tiger fish from Zambia there. Just caught a four pound chub. That's sweet. Good catch, man. That's a big one. I have not caught a chub that big, so that's that's awesome. Halloween kills. Seen anyone? No, but I did watch uh, the complete. Um, how do I describe this? It was like the first. It was a summary of sorts of the first five films of Halloween, the first four or five Halloween films. So I'm somewhat up to date 
I'm not. I'm not up to date at all. But I do know quite a bit about the first four or five Halloween films. <laughs> but I have not seen Halloween Kills yet. It's on the list. I need to watch it. 80 pound largemouth bass from this fall yesterday. Well, right on. That sounds awesome. Biggest chub is 6kg. Oh my man, just got a 3kg bream on your alt. Well, sweet, dude. Never knew they got that big. I didn't even... I didn't even know. Alright, this place stinks. I always had to try new places out. Just to see. This place seemed fishy, but there's no fish here. It seemed fishy, but no fish. That's alright. Sometimes you gotta try new places out, because you never know. It could be the next hot spot or something like that. One place I do like to try, though, is right over here by this weird-looking sticks, these weird branches sticking out. Um, I always do pretty well here. I catch eyed, and I catch, uh, catch rough sometimes. Just kind of depends on what's biting, but let's throw that out there, and we'll throw this out here, too. See which one goes down here first. But uh Ide and Rough are usually usually what I pull out of here. I think uh thank goodness. Oh, getting nibbles. Getting nibbles. Yep, that's taken. Taken but not but not stirred. Needs to needs to stir more. Oh, the other one just got taken. Bunch of Bologna, man. Can't see the float. There it is. About to have a long conversation with Tony Todd, who played Candyman. I also met the dude who was Jason. Friday the 13th 2, they were at Arcon a few years ago. Really nice guys. That's awesome, man. Uh, I saw one of the... I saw, like, uh... One of the Jason actors. He was a big dude. <laughs> Which makes sense. Uh, I think Jason hits the lakeside gym a lot. They just don't show that in the movies. But I'm pretty sure he's a pretty big, uh... Pretty big lifting kind of guy. Ends might be the last one. It has a name for a reason, of course. I can't have every Halloween. Every Halloween. And you're here now. What's the deal, huh? Why why are you around? It's it's March now. What do you think? Who do you think you are? St. St. Patty's? Michael Myers, the St. Patrick's Day monster? My birthday really wanted to come. Well, Kurt. Glad you I guess you're not Kurt. You're Ashton. Well, Glad you're here and happy birthday. What the heck? Okay, I was gonna say, what the heck? We're yet to freaking get a fish over here. We keep getting nibbles, but see, we got our an eye. I'm so I swear this is. A, I always catch eyed or rough here in this little stick. Just always, always turns out that way. So if you're going after an eyed, this little stick right here is a great place to try it. 2018 Halloween. Just hanging just hanging around, waiting. You know how it is. Waiting for Halloween again. Here we are. I got you, man. I'm with you. Tomorrow is your birthday, Ben. Sh well, happy early birthday. The guy who was in Friday the 13th, he looks like a 6'5 version of He was not intimidating at all. <laughs> well, that's nice, though. You're filming the new movie now? Okay, I got you. Did you kill the deer on my wall? Uh, way back in the day. Way back in the day. Yes. Yes, indeed. The one on the right is from when I was in middle school, 6th or 7th grade. And the one on the left is, um, 
Oh, that was sometime in college, maybe my freshman year or sophomore year. Um, it's been a while since then. We're bobbing. Bobbing for apples. That one's going. I really need to change out this float. It is driving me bonkers. Let's catch at least one more fish, and then I think I am going to go buy another float. Just because I'm so sick of this float. You can barely see it. Kong also, did you see the monster fighter shark and mega piranha? I did indeed. Give us something to go for this next Halloween, that's for sure. Here, fishy fishy. Indeed, dude. I'm being so patient right now. Come on, fish. Go. We're just watching bobbers go up and down. This is quality, quality entertainment. We can, uh, we, I can do like a sportscaster kind of thing. Oh, the one on the left is, uh, is going up and down now. The one on the right still going up and down as well. Oh, one on the left just went down like a lot. Oh, but a good little tug and it's, uh, it's back up to the top. So nothing to report there. One on the right going up and down a little bit more than the one on the left right now. What will it do? Still holding on to the rod on the left though. So hard to say what our plan is. Bobber is completely uh, up on top of the water now, which means the, the fish actually took the weight of our bait and brought it upwards. Um, let's see, what's going on? Oh, Bobber on the right just got taken down. But I, uh, I assume, yep, just like I, uh, I thought there. Oh, but we got a fish on now. And, uh, looks like the bobber on the left might be, uh, being messed with as well. Gibble carp, everyone. That'll work. Gonna put this rod away. Not sure if this is gonna get taken or not. Might as well continue narrating what's happening. Catering serve you great food? Oh, they better. Who knows? What are we fishing for? You just joined the stream. Well, uh, fishing for a number of smaller fish here in Mosquito Lake, uh, rough, uh, some ides, uh, tench, uh, roaches, gibble carp, crucian carp, that sort of thing. Uh, there we go. We got them. We got them. Uh, what do we got now? Another little tiny gibble carp. Let's go exchange bobbers. We wandered all the way over here. It's been very slow. Let's go exchange some bobbers. We might move on. Uh, I don't know. I was gonna say we might do a little bit of spin fishing. It's 8:30. We still we got another hour. <clears throat> might do like 15 minutes of uh, 15 minutes of spin fishing on Winding River Lake. Or, or something else we could try is uh, is going to a new area, Oldberg Lake. Give it a give it a shot. Fishing for compliments and likes. And this is a fishing stream, you know? Gotta keep it up. Just wanted to say thank you for making great videos. I am going to bed now. Kurt, we'll ride on. Take care, have a good one, and appreciate the compliment. Goodness gracious. You just found a casting exploit. Oh no. I hate exploits. All right, I don't think we have anything worth reporting we have one perch do we have we do okay let's just do that get some money get some money let's get rid of that other float i said i was gonna do it and i almost forgot to do it let's do that floats 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 that's not the right float so there is the bolognese uh which i think we have to unlock it to do it but uh, the starting one is $31, goodness gracious. Definitely gonna stick to regular floats for now. <laughs> Golly, bro. Okay, which one are we using? Uh, this one. We are using this one. Let's get the purple one. That'll do, I assume. Now we'll have a purple one and a red one. Mix it up. All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, 
<laughs> Lauren is is posting on his Instagram. I haven't seen him. You know what? You know what? I, I'm getting bored just running over here. Let's let's do it. Let's run to Oldberg Lake. It's seven dollars and ninety cents to come here. What the heck? Might be a horrible venture, but we're gonna try it. Just got the game. Crankbait says, "Well, good deal. Give it a go, man." It's uh, I, I should say the biggest thing about this game. Is that it, money matters so much more than level so many people on fishing planet like really get their head wrapped around leveling up and leveling up it's not as much it's not as important in this game of course you need to level up to get skills and unlock certain things and get better at doing things and whatnot um, and my brother got to level 10 pretty quickly uh, within like a week's time but uh but money matters so much more than skills in this game. So just focus on getting money and the and the levels will come with it. Uh, we got some stuff for Gibble Carp right now. 30, uh, 30 G's and 350 G's. Crucian Carp down here, 350 G's. Uh, seven of them for $35. That's a lot of Crucian Carp. Um, but we can give it a go. Common Carp as well. I don't know anything can easily ruin your day. Well, we'll have to keep our uh, hook size fairly uh, fairly small. Or, and, and just hope for the best, I guess. Um, I'll switch to an 8. Switch to an 8 on that one. We'll switch to... Uh, oh, golly. Switch to an 8 on that one, too, maybe. Um, we'll go with a worm. I think that should probably... Hopefully keep some uh, some carp away Maybe catch some other stuff instead. Let's just go. Um, I don't know Dylan, you're gonna have to help me out here because I really don't know where to go um, If you've got some tips, let me know. Otherwise, we're just gonna kind of be Shooting in the dark here I might throw out some float rods just to uh, just to test the water literally Because uh, I have no idea do we have a- we don't even have a map here. Maybe we should- how much is a map? Let's go find out. Getting a map might be a good way to go about it. We had a woodpeckers in Russia- we have woodpeckers. Yes, we do. That's right. Woodpeckers confirmed. Russian Fishing 4. Fire up the grill this weekend, bro. We made trout and smoked wings. Okay, this was evidently not the way to run around. I thought there would be a second entrance, but there is not. Uh -oh. Uh, not this weekend, but we did, um, today. We, uh, we had some salmon we, we grilled up. Not making that up. It's ran- I know you also did, uh, some trout, but yeah, we, uh, had some, some salmon tonight. So, yeah. Good coincidence, I should say. Um, now I can't even remember why we came over here. Oh, to get a map from the administration. Five dollars? Yeah, easy, bro. Easy. All right, so we can see some deeper holes uh, in, in various areas. Which one do we go for, though? That's the question. Use size one for bream. Eight might be too small for most fish. You kind of want to use around larger size. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I'm trying to avoid larger fish, though. I guess with the with the, with the better reel I have, we can throw in a larger one. We'll throw on a six. How about how about that? I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm doing. Let's see here. There's a deep spot out. Should we aim for the deep spot? You think? 
I don't know where the deep spot is. Do do do. Trying to remember what the keys are for increasing your length. Let's see. Friction break line clip. Okay. I was hitting that. Oh, it's control plus. Yeah, okay, here we go. Let's see if I clip of 15 meters. the heck is sector C5? C5. Here? Think? Alright, I'm following your guidance. Money is more important than fishing planet. I'd say so, yes. Should I buy a feeder rod? Um... I, I think a feeder rod's great, yeah. It gives you an extra... I mean, you can kind of fish the bottom with a float rod. Don't get me wrong, but I feel like uh, the bottom rod gives you, I guess, a chance to fish closer to the top and a chance to fish closer to the bottom. Plus, when you're on, like, the winding rivulet where you have a current kind of pushing a float rod down the current, uh, bottom rod, you don't really have to worry about that. Let's do... Oh, that was not as far as I thought. I was thinking it was going to hit that 15 meters a lot sooner than it did. Oh, goodness. Pretty much the same distance as the other one. All right, got two of those out. Use size one for Bream. My goodness gracious. Size one for Bream? You like to use really big. I wouldn't even use the size one for a carp, dude. Just keep an eye on keep an eye on our bottom rods as well as this little float here might uh, spot a little bit just by tossing this baby out chucking this bad boy out yeah yeah might bring in some fish or keep them around a little longer hopefully Just caught a 47 pound leg trout and fishing plant. Very nice, Talon. That's sweet, man. Just got spooled by 10 kg carp, and I may or may not have all that afford to save my equipment. Cheater, cheater, cheater. Cheater, cheater, cheater. Given, given out advice and then watching it bite you. Oh, man. Oh man. So confused why this is not tightening. We really have that much spare line, or what's the deal here? We're just reeling in our stuff all the way in it feels like what is the deal dude oh we have a fish on that's hilarious a little tiny thing it's a bream so we did catch a bream where you said we'd catch a bream how about that 
<laughs> That's awesome. That was on the worm, so yeah, I kind of expected that, I guess. Kind of expected to catch a bream on the worm. That's what we were catching the uh, the bream on at uh, at Mosquito Lake too. So makes sense. Do they have a place to uh, feed yourself here? Because our food is way down. We are not getting any nibbles with the float rod. Tossing meatballs in the lake. That's what I'm doing, man. They like they like the meatball. Don't you know the carp love meatballs? I've used them. You, uh, I've used them. I've uh, old Carl and Alex used to like uh, to use the pepperoni. He used to use the pepperoni a lot, which makes you know sounds good. They call it pepperami though. You know, like salami, but pepperami. I guess. Is that a is that a European thing where they call pepperoni pepperami? So this is on the corn. Reeling it in pretty easily though. What do we got? A little tench looks like. Yep, a little, little tench. That's alright though. And fishing what would be a good start talon i've got okay i've got two great videos for starting out in russian fishing but first off probably just get through the tutorial um just do the little tutorial things that it talks about um getting your float rod and doing the spinning stuff um that's that's just a great way to start um once you have that though feel free to watch my uh my little beginner videos that i've done I think that would be a good good way to go about learning some things. Got kind of loose there for a second. This. Okay, yeah. It is getting messed with. That's why. That's why I was getting loose. Do you have garlic dough? I don't have garlic dough. I'm sorry. I don't even know what do we uh how do we make garlic? Garlic dough is uh is here. We need to have 35% in harvesting baits, which we have 4.2%, so we got a while got a while to go. Do we have any food? Our dude is like hungry. We have baked potatoes! Right on! You gotta do what you gotta do. Wait, what size hooks are you using? I'm using a size 8 right now. Which is like a it's it's a fairly like common size to use for bream, if not large. I was just talking to a, uh, a Swedish kid the other day who was saying that he liked to use 10s and 12s for bream. And I was like, all right, bro. Sounds good. Any of the paid lakes or rivers you can get free food? Okay. I was curious about it. I was curious about it. Oh man, we got a new message. Who could it be? I feel like Blue's Clues. Mail. Stuff on Polish sausage, so it makes sense. Heck yeah, man. Ooh, our float rods get messed with, finally. Finally. Biggest bream is over 5.5 kgs. Ooh. Well, using a size one hook, I could definitely imagine, man. I'd bring in the big boys. I don't even think my equipment's strong enough to handle something 5.5 kgs right now. If I even could... Yeah, I bet it could, actually. The one rod with the better reel on it. I bet it could handle it. A decent fish, a little tench, a little tiny tench, a little tiny tench. 424 G's. 
We're very loose on the one rod. Start tightening it up. Find out if we got a fish on there, kind of dropping back. I assume we do because that line is way over to the left. <laughs> that is hilarious. This one's got a little bit more drag on it, but not huge. A little bit larger bream, it looks like. 629 G's. Still not over a kilo, though. Nah, we're using, let's see. Using the size eights on that. Let's go up to a size six and just see what happens. Oh, getting real, oh. I knocked off my uh, worm when I did that. What is that game called, Bo Richmond says? The game is called Russian Fishing 4. I have it in the title. Make it easy for you. Watch chat for me. Carly Priv, watch the chat. JK. I'll watch it too, a little bit. Buy fresh natural baits, garlic dough, and other sorts of dough at the store. Oh. Do you think the garlic dough is really where it's at? Am I really missing out without it? I bet it's gonna be fairly expensive, isn't it? It's gotta be. It's gotta be. See, we just went loose again. These bells do a horrible job at telling us when there's drawbacks. larger still of course we did skip to the uh, we went to the uh, just send 50 bro just try I don't want free monies got a little bream though that's nice getting larger getting larger all right if you swear by it it's the only way. We gotta go this way. We're gonna, we're gonna, something's gonna break off. I just know it. All right. Let's hope that that doesn't break off and we're gonna go get, go look for some garlic dough, evidently. A must-have for bream fishing. A must-have. Okay, if you say so. I hate this fort. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I can't figure my way around it. Are we running around the full fort? We are. What the heck? Why isn't there another entrance to this fort? All right, give me some garlic dough. Garlic dough. 50 gold. Point 50 gold? I don't have point 50 gold. You guys are crazy. Ah, uh, giving me garlic dough. We're only using it during the live stream. Don't you don't you think for a second that I'm using it in my videos? <laughs> this the chili and cinnamon roll debate. There there was no debate. I just acknowledged it. I was like, okay. <laughs> Evidently, I need to try it because I, I, I haven't tried it yet. Here's a tent in the red bucket. Fishing's got to be good over by a tent in the red bucket. Here's a bridge. 
We found the bridge. There's some gnomes. Nope, no gnomes. Just plants. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry now. <laughs> do you play guitar? I don't play guitar, Brandon. I do not. I will say our editor, our editor plays guitars, which is pretty cool. I think he's a pretty good guitar player. He is, he is not a guitar hero. He's more than that. He's a, a guitar, guitar dude is what he is. Let's reel this in. We'll put the uh, garlic dough on it. We don't need any um, feeder mix for bream, do we? Because I, I don't I don't think I'm high enough level to have feeder mix for bream anyway. I'm using crucian carp stuff on mine right now. We can get rid of that though, right? And we'll just put the uh, garlic dough on here. I'll, I'll even throw on a size three. Garlic dough, size three hook. Let's give it a go. Are we facing in the right direction? We are indeed. That was like a perfect toss. We threw it exactly 15 meters. It's amazing. All right, all right. It's Takis and pickles. Takis, that's how I do. I get a long dill pickle and I put a Taki right next to it so that they're kind of like the same length. And then I just bite it off bit by bit. David's got to take off early. Have a good one. Hey, take care, David. Have a, uh, Thanks for being here, man. Appreciate it. Mm, let's see here. Oh, my contacts are drying out. Okay. It is so dark. It's so dark at Old Berg. Ooh, that one's taking off. Little fish, little fish, ooh, lotted little fish, little fish, little fish, ooh, it's a little fish. Hey, we switch to the freaking bream uh, stuff when we catch a crucian carp. Counts towards my feeder assignment. That's good. We always needed it to count towards our feeder assignment. Now I now I feel like I need to get a third bottom rod to make the most of my time. That bridge holds many pike. Ooh. That's awesome because I just got my uh, just got my pike rod. So 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 so. When do do you know when do I need to start uh, worrying about the pike biting through the line? Because that's one thing I was wondering about the other day. Ooh, Elliot Stewie, thank you, thank you, appreciate it. I will certainly keep up the great work best I can anyway. Up dog. Yo, what up, dog? Mellow yellow. Oh, got something. Got something going on here. Something small. Really fishing you've been doing lately. I went yesterday for the first time in four months, and it feels good. Nice to kickstart the motor, you know? I agree. Yeah, we went car fishing on Saturday, and I caught the smallest of the entire group which was uh, an 11 or 12 pounder, I can't recall now. Um, but, but yeah, it was the smallest one. They caught many 20s. Many people joined the, well, they were already part of it most likely. But many people joined the 20 pound club yesterday or Saturday. Um, yeah, it was a great time. And I can't wait to go back because it literally just snowed yesterday again. And I'm ready for the snow to go away so I can go fishing. Very excited. Could you go trout fishing and fishing planet? Yes, you could. You could go trout fishing and fishing planet. In fact, we have many, many videos trout fishing and fishing planet. So just 
go up and uh, you can either search on our channel or go on YouTube and type in Trout BZ Hub, um, and you'll most likely see some. Hey, there's a bigger fish. There's a bigger fish. Swily, anyway. Yeah, that's a darker bream, too. We've just gone up a size. 1.573 kg bream there. Very nice. Hello. Hello. I'm a bream. Hello. I don't know why that's the voice that a bream makes, though, if you were wondering. Brandon says, did you know my favorite color is green? Well, this screen probably makes you very happy then. There's green all over it. And various. I mean, if you were a, if your favorite color was darker like this black, you'd probably be more happy, but but yes, there's there's lots of green as well. When pi get large, 10 kg plus sometimes. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm not sure if I'm ready for that. Let's keep that bad boy. Do we have a fish on that one, too? I can't tell. I think we do. I think we do. Let's get that one set up. Ooh, yes, we do. Very nice indeed. The last quarter of the stream. Dalton M, I'm glad you came as well. White Moose Lake sometime. Can you catch lake trout in, uh, you know, if you just watch one of our many videos or live streams of us catching lake trout in, uh, White Moose Lake and pretend that you're there enjoying it with us, uh, then, then, then yes. But, uh, but we probably won't because it's, it's not that fun if you've already done it a million times. So, it's only so much only so much we can do people always wonder why I don't go anywhere in fishing planet as far as level and whatnot like I've already passed you I'm already at the last place where have you been it's because for two years we've played and we've gone back to other areas and fished in places that would not level us up <laughs> we've you know how many people uh, who are level 50 go back to Lone Star and fish for little tiny bass? Not many. Not, not many. <laughs> who buys the drinks? Luckily, luckily didn't have to do that. I, I, uh, I pieced out early. I was like, all right guys, you beat me. I admit defeat, I'm out. It was a good time, though. I, I had to go back home to, uh... I can't even remember what I was doing now. But, uh... Yeah. It was a good time. Good Saturday, that's for sure. Waking up early and going, You know what? I think I'm gonna go fishing today. Oh, that was awesome. And soon... Soon it will become... You know, Friday night, I'm going to bed early so that I can wake up early on Saturday for, to, you know, to go fishing. So, uh, gotta get excited for that. Just be by see No green on that fish. No. No green on the fish, but on the page itself, Joe. It had little green words and whatnot. Green circles. Oh, the bites have slowed down. See if we can catch something on the float. My goodness gracious. Well, hopefully you're okay, Brandon. Where can you buy a rod stand? Rod stands are free in Russian fishing. All you gotta do is hit the zero button and not be standing too close to the edge. Are you good? Are you good? Are you talking to me or Brandon? <laughs> Oldberg for like 15 minutes and 18 fish that are over 1.5 kg. Well, that's awesome. See, I'm telling you. You get you get further along and you start learning some things. You know, you start catching larger fish. 
Uh, making some moolah. That's good. So psyched for trout season, but we considering the price of gas, I don't doubt we will only be fishing for smaller trout in local streams. No Lake Erie. Just depends on how much you want it, man. Depends on how much you want it. You know, the, um, I learned this the other day. The, the biggest excuse for people stopping fishing, like losing fishing as a hobby, was that they said they ran out of time. They ran out of time to go fishing. And when they pressed people further, they said, well, how do you run out of time? And they said, well, it's just, I don't want to drive out there. I'd rather just sit inside and watch TV or something like that. And it's like, it's like, okay, so you stopped fishing because you wanted to go watch TV. Not that you don't have time, <laughs> you, you know? And so it's like, basically, if you want to do anything, make make time for it. Not having time, unless it's pressing, unless it's a pressing issue, someone in the hospital got to go watch my my daughter play a basketball game, you know, that sort of stuff. Family issues. Don't use other hobbies as an excuse for not being able to go fishing. You know? Next stream, Fishing North Atlantic. I, I don't... I think there were quite a few people who wanted uh, Fishing Planet next next stream. I asked. I was like, what are we doing? Are we playing Fishing Planet or Call of the Wild? And one person said Call of the Wild and like three people said Fishing Planet. So so that's that's what I got. Is that he actually talks to... That. Well, what fun's having a live stream if you don't talk to the chat? Come on. Otherwise, just, just record a video at that point. If you're not going to talk to the chat, then what's the point? I gotta raise this up. Can't see my my uh, statistics or whatever down there. Oh, it's too high. Let's lower it down. There we go. That's good. That six hour drive to the mountains is a lot of cash. Is it though? We're driving eight, eight hours to go skiing uh, this weekend. And then we gotta drive eight hours back. Here's where I'm fishing, my friend. I'll never give it up. Never, never give it up. Now all your rods are going, and my rods are not doing anything. So you're just lucky, I think. Two hour drive to the beach is also, well then you're just out of luck, man. Until 2 p.m., I know. Oh, a jingle jangle. Jingle jangle on the left here. Ooh, that's gone, man. That's fish. That's a fish. If you couldn't tell. If you couldn't tell by what our activity is right now. This is a fish. It's gotta be less than 3 kgs, though. It is definitely taking line out, though. That's for sure. We might have a fish on the other rod as well. It's swimming to the right, so we're going to pull to the left there. Something that you kind of forget about sometimes when you're playing games. You forget that, uh... Fighting mechanics are a thing. Coming straight for us now. Any guesses? Any guesses so far? What do we got here? I'm gonna go with another bream. <laughs> there we go. 1.957 kg bream. Getting larger. Getting larger, man. That's awesome, though. It's a good spot, Dylan. Good job. You're not lucky, you're mad. You know, bro, you're you're not mad. You're angry. I <laughs> don't synonyms. Let's make sure that we have a fish on here first. No fish. Oh, getting nibbles on this though, I think. 
Yes, sir. Bull shark. It was a bull shark. Wee, wee, man, he got taken under. Yeah, let's fish. Wee, look at the size of this thing. It's just a little tench, but man, for uh, all the roach fishing we've been doing, that was that was pretty good. A little bit of fight on him. Toss this back out. I like having a little float rod just kind of sitting along while we're doing this feeder fishing. Does King Bjorn know how to ski? Nah. Nah, he just runs. He just runs in the snow. As if he was skiing. Just kind of slides, I guess, also. So, on his big belly. <laughs> Fishing plan and video helped me so much now. You're level 31, bro. Well done. Good job, Talon. Brian B is here. How's it going, Brian? So we get about 500. That's enough for us to go to Erie and back with some gas to spare. There you go. I guess I found that we could drive in a circle around the USA. Well, hey, there you go. That's what you need to get to Lake Erie. We might have had some interest there with that slack line, but no, nothing. You're a professional sledder, eh? I got, I definitely have some dry eyes. I'm blinking a lot. Someone say something sad so I can get, get some tears in here. Ugh. I used to have a little uh, contact bottle I keep on my desk when I'm staring at my screen for too long, but uh, I took it in the car with me when I went fishing the other day. Hmm. What did you miss? And you missed some pretty decent bream, that's for sure. Been catching a mess of bream so far. Think of losing a large fish. Oh, no. No. That will do it. Dylan's going to have to go. All right, Dylan, take care, man. Well, thanks for the tip on the bream. We're definitely catching bream here, man. The line is moving. The line is moving. Oh, that's the heaviest fish we've had to fight on this new reel. It's just a little bream. Just a little bream. 1.534 kgs, everybody. Moving on up. Yes, indeed. We're moving on up. Fish models in this game. I love them. I love them. I love them. I love how I'm uh, complimenting the fish models, but like, you know, five or ten years from now or whatever, we're going to look back on this game like, man, why did we think that those fish models looked so good? What the heck just happened? float you're getting a little farther away bro calm yourself enjoy the rest of your night yeah right on you as well what's the biggest catch for the day biggest catch for the day so far let's see here i'm guessing guessing it's gonna be a bream let's do it by weight here Yep, 1.957 kg bream so far the largest of the day. So far the largest of the day, man. It's alright though. A bream again. What kind of fish comes out at night? 
a moonfish, a night fish, dark, dark fish, starfish, a starfish. <gasps> I got it. I got it before you said it, Elliot. I said it. I said it before I saw the comment. I swear to God, I nailed it. Just saying. Just saying. I know you don't believe me, but I did. I said it before I saw the comment. Ugh. You believe? Okay, thank you. Good. I hope you. I hope you understood that my uh, amazement was was it was it was real. I was impressed by myself. Got a hundred seller for fishing thirty minutes. Woot woot! There you go, man. That's awesome. Ugh. I want to run out to my car and get my uh, contact solution, but I don't want to lose any fish. BZ very proud right now. I know. You gotta take the little wins in life sometimes. There we go. There we go. There we go. Well, 1.2 kg bream, you think? I'm guessing a little, just a little over one. A little over one kg. Let's find out. Can you hear me, Hunter 2.0? Yes, indeed. 1.4? What? That's crazy. It's like a Bream Beyblade. It's a Bream Blade. Oh, it's gone. Watching that float. Watching that float. Fishing game over well-being. You have a balance. There we go. There we go. We got him. We got him. Hey, big fish. It's big fish. Big fish. Big fish. This is how you fight with the telestick, by the way. You just periodically just let go and pull him up. Until he gets tired and gives up. There's no reel and no drag, so you just have to do it manually. There we go, boys. There we go, boys. 904 Tench. That's what I'm talking about. Look at those lips. Mwah, mwah, mwah. 677. Fellas, let's go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Not my biggest tench I've ever caught, but that's awesome. That's cool. We got him. The tench really liked this spot on a float. Okay, I, I gotta really uh, start writing some stuff down on my uh, my Excel doc here. Oldberg Lake. It's rainy. It's uh, it's three seven. It's like a captain's log. Ooh. Rainy. What is the uh, what's our position? Our position is twenty three forty six. It is the gosh dang it! Every time I put this thing up, I can't see what it is anymore. I think he loves catching carp. Where are we fishing? Oldberg Lake. Yeah, yeah. Do you like catching carp or trout more in real life? Well, in Kansas, we don't really have as much uh, trout. They stock our lakes with trout every winter. So we do get to have some trout in that way. But I've never really had good luck fishing for trout with uh, bait and uh, that sort of thing. Um, we tried uh, twice this, this past year and just didn't get anything. Come on, man, reel in faster. Another bream. Um, 
So, I'd say carp. If I had trout, like, in a stream 10 minutes away from my house, I'm sure I would love trout fishing a lot more. But I don't. Little Bream. Put on its peanut butter sandwich. A jellyfish. That makes sense. Spin a fish the rest of the stream. <laughs> it can just be an animation. We can just get an animation of us spinning a fish. It's definitely a big jump from Fishing Planet. It is indeed. Yes, it is. I, I think it's, it's very difficult for people to realize why I'm playing this game more than Fishing Planet until they play this game. <laughs> And then they're like, oh, okay. I get it now. Yeah. It's more like fishing in real life. I get it. I understand why you enjoy this game more. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a lot of fun. You shot a crow this morning. Two big crows. Well, how did they taste? Rohan's here. How's it going, Rohan? Haven't been seen on the stream in a while. I agree. It's sponsored by them, right? I, I don't know if sponsored the right word. But uh, I did an I did an ad for them, and I made a video for them. Not sure. I, I'm not sure if I continue to be sponsored, but who knows? May, maybe, by someone's definition, I am. Thinking about taking that feed ball off. Why do we have the feed ball? Neither of these have feed in them. So why does it keep showing up that we do have it? Again, the top. Oh, that's our number seven key. Oh, okay, I get it now. I get it now. I'm with the program. I'm with the program. Don't worry, sir. I'm with the program. Good deal. All right, I'm thinking right now we ought to dig a hole. Where uh, where do you think is gonna be a good hole for digging? Right here by this plant. This plant gives me good worm vibes. Let's find out. Nine worms and one red worm. Yippee ki yay! This is great. I knew that that was a good worm looking plant. Oh, float rod's going. Float rod was bobbing. How many power aids you drank today? Oh gosh. 100. I'm very bad at guessing it. I don't know. Dude, this is the tench spot all day. All day, tench. Tench after tench after tench. We ought to dig a hole. <laughs> what music should you listen to while fishing? Something catchy. Oh, ooh, what? That's awesome. That's a good one. I, I like that. Hopefully what we listen to is catchy. I think it is. Putting stuff into my thingy so we can remember it. Oh, oh, got jingles. Whoa, big fish. How come we kept keep catching bigger fish on this? Real that's not as good as the other one. The biggest uh, fish I've caught so far on this reel has been a 3.3 kg carp, which really isn't that big, but it felt big on this little reel. Your first fish was a 328 G crucian carp. Very cool, dude. Well, congrats. 
I'd say it's only up from there, but that that wouldn't be true. You're gonna catch lots of fish that are smaller than that. <laughs> and you're not gonna be mad about it because they're gonna be worth something. Oh, our guy's tired. He wasn't able to throw it out very far. I might have some, um... I was gonna say, I might have some tea here. Be easy. We got to go to sleep, see y'all Wednesday. Hey, take care, Dalton, see you Wednesday. It'll be good. The fish like different reels. I guess so, yeah, they like the one that makes a clicking noise. They're like, oh, I love clicking. I love clicking noises. You made it to your first stream, Josiah says. Right on, bro. I had a friend growing up named Josiah, so this is great. What did the shark say after eating a clownfish? It tasted a little bit funny. Now, now you're just, now you're just making up jokes. This isn't funny. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They're very funny. Size six, and this is a size three. Um, on garlic, though. Bream. What's our largest bream we've caught so far? 1.9, I think. Wasn't it? Yeah, 1.97. 1.957. And in the same place... We've been catching lots of tench on a float. Got in the log book. We're good now. We're, we're all caught up. You're going to Alaska in one month to hunt a reindeer. Wow. That's pretty cool. Wish you good luck in Alaska. Heck yeah, Elliot. Or are they? I thought it was caribou. Yeah, I think they go with caribou more, more like up there. Reindeer are more of a European thing, I believe. They're all part of the same family, though. I was surprised that there are... It's kind of like giraffes. There are like, uh... There are like, I don't even know... Six or seven, maybe even eight different types of caribou. I, I had no idea. <laughs> Getting jingles. Jingle jangles on the size three here. Go, size three, go. Yeah. Oh, I thought he had it for a second. This game is awesome. I agree, it is awesome. So, uh, if you haven't watched our first episode, uh, Fishing Planet, um, or not Fishing Planet, Russian Fishing, basically, before you, before and after you catch some fish, make sure you head to the cafe. That way you can, uh, you can see what kind of fish are, are being bought up. That way you can kind of tell what you should go fishing for, or at least try to catch. Ooh, did he just drop back? No, he's going to the left now. I think he's on, everybody. On like Donkey Kong. To pick up my fishing rod and mire, then hang it back up. Just me? <laughs> uh, if I had more room in my office, I would say I do similar things, but I don't. And my fan is, like, constantly running, so I have to be, like, weary of getting it stuck up in the fan. But otherwise. But otherwise. So one thing I did ask them to add into the game is, uh, is a button that we can press to get all these, uh... To get all these little, uh, names and stuff. H hide them, basically, so that we can get a picture. 
of our catches without the uh, without the words and stuff in the way. I thought that would be really nice. But obviously, if they could uh, if they could add in a character to put the fish with, similar to some other games I know about like pretty much every other fishing game out there. Um, it would be nice because your character gives you a sense of scale that we can relate to and go, oh, that's our character's as big as us and now this fish that's like this big, now I can go, wow, that is a big fish. But no. Kirado and Zodius Rod, oh yeah. From Prince Ozzy? Probably not. Unless he's like right outside the door. Which is possible. Which is possible. And the Arctic Circle, Fairbanks. Does this game have a better economy than Fishing Planet? Fishing Planet's economy is worse than modern day America. Oh my goodness. Uh, what do you mean by the Fishing Planet economy? It's just... There's no real like economy. <laughs> it's just... It's just, a, it's just a game with game prices. An exact replica of a whale in his house because whale, yes, indeed. That will be your life savings. The kayaks are very cheap, actually. Um, you just need to get to a higher level. Nope. Not around. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. No dogs. No dogs nearby. Anywho... I think that's going to do it for this episode, everyone. I really appreciate you all being here. I had a great time. Sorry there were no puppies around for the ending, but uh, hopefully, hopefully we'll see you on Wednesday. Sounds like we're going to be playing some Fishing Planet um, instead of the Hunter Call of the Wild, unless, unless a lot of people decide that we should play the Hunter Call of the Wild this Wednesday. I might put a poll out tomorrow or something to find out. So uh, I guess if you're one way or the other, make sure you uh, pay attention. So got to keep the grind if you want to... If you want it, heck yeah, heck yeah. Oh, dang. Anyway, everyone, take care, and uh, as always, as always, big thanks to our moderators. David Probus, Carly Proof came in the house as well for helping out there. No doggos. Just let me know. Let me know. That's funny. All right, take care, everyone, and as always, remember. We're one Planet on. We're one planet, one family. Game on.